me upcycling anything, cutting it and hoping for the best. <laughs> beautiful people and welcome to Upcycled Only where I take clothes I found in charity shops and breathe new life into them so they look a little bit more like what you would find on fast fashion websites but without the moral and ethical issues. Today is going to be short and sweet, I'm just going to upcycle the scraps from t-shirts that I've cut up and make them into scrunchies. I've got a couple of colours so I think they'll look pretty good. Let's get started. Okie doke. Let's see what we have here. Two colours, Tamsin. You literally have two colours. Okay, so these are the sleeves from the t-shirt that I upcycled into a cute little matching set. Available now on my new pop. I didn't use the sleeves because it was so large that I ended up using just the t-shirt as the sleeves, which, you know, was epic. And this beautiful piece of material used to be a t-shirt, and I had these grand ideas of doing a lettuce hem. You could see I started here to do a lettuce hem, and uh, the material, it's not stretchy enough, so it didn't work. No matter, chopped it up. I actually made a sports headband out of this which is really great because <laughs> I have curly hair so I can't really tie it up in the way that everyone else does so I need that to wick the sweat. I'm just gonna chop it and then sew it around some scrunchies and it's gonna be epic, obviously. Okay, honestly, making scrunchies is the easiest thing to do. You just cut a rectangle, fold it over, sew it up, turn it inside out and then join it together. It's mildly interesting. Um, it's really not rocket science. So, yeah, let's do it. I mean, it doesn't particularly help that this isn't an actual, like, proper rectangle. That other one will be easier, but this is not, not, it's not a proper rectangle. So, <laughs> I'm just gonna kind of sort of fold it. I'm just gonna cut it and hope for the best. <laughs> All right, that looks fine, looks fine, looks fine. Gonna be great. Tamsin, that does not look fine. It's not a rectangle. You are in complete denial that this is not going to work, that you do actually have to sew a rectangle. But yes, by all means, go ahead. Use that fancy rotary cutter to cut in a line that really is not that straight. I mean, look at that. It's not straight at all. This is not how to lead by example, kids. Do you know what I'm actually going to do? I'm just going to shove it under a sewing machine, sew in a long straight line and cut off the rest. Because <laughs> that seems like the simplest thing to do right now. Simplest? Yes. Most correct? Probably not. And one thing I have just realised is that I'm going to have to re-thread my sewing machine again. Which is always my favourite thing to do. Love threading the sewing machine's favourite thing ever. But, you know, I do have a self-threading needle, so it could be worse. I could not have a self-threading needle. You know, always look on the bright side of life. I've just realised, because everything's going on the inside, because it's a hem, it actually doesn't matter what colour thread I use. It doesn't need to match this, which is epic, which we love. Almost started sewing without remembering to put in the hair bobble. All right, so as you can see, hair bobble is trapped between two layers of material. I then, I'm gonna sew all the way down here. It's gonna get a bit tricky the further I go into it. But you know, there's nothing I can do about it. We just have to deal with the trickiness and move on, much like we do in life. So this process is really quite straightforward. You just sew in a straight line. Sometimes it takes a bit of finagling to get the material around the bobble to join on either side, but honestly, you get used to it. Don't be alarmed if your ends don't join up right at the end. Mine never do. It never makes a difference to how the scrunchie turns out. Have I mentioned before how much I hate sewing t-shirt material? If I haven't, then this is me mentioning it now. If I have, this is how much it annoys me. That I need to mention it again.
And this is the moment I realized my nails match my scrunchie. Ecstatic. Okay, so now we have, I'm sorry, I'm just absolutely stoked that my nails match. Um, now we've got this little donut. We are just going to turn it inside out. It takes a bit of finagre, uh, do you know what? That's absolutely incorrect. It's not what we're gonna do at all. We're gonna cut off the excess. We're gonna cut off the excess because there's a lot of it. Let's do that and then we'll turn it inside out. Okay, excess cut off. Now we turn it inside out, which, uh, have I done, no, I've done it wrong. <laughs> yeah, it's fine, I really don't wanna seam rip today. I've not had to seam rip today and I don't think I'm going to have to. Mainly because the project I took on was not that big. But still, people make mistakes. I, specifically, especially when I'm sewing, always make mistakes. Now it looks like that, which obviously, not the one. I hate sewing t-shirt material, but she makes a good scrunchie. Look at her! She's so cute though! You could fold them in and then just whack a sewing machine down them. I don't like to do that though. Obviously I like to make things a little bit more difficult for myself. I like to hand stitch with a mattress stitch. <laughs> I'm like, why does everything not go perfectly? Because you don't know what you're doing, Tamsin. That's literally why. Now what I will do is I will just go back in and sew that up and then we will have a cute little scrunchie. Oh, these are like, no they're not. I was gonna say these are like the Britney they were definitely fluffy. I know they were fluffy because I had a pair when I was about nine. God, I miss the 90s. I'm gonna make another one of these, which you don't need to see because it's exactly the same thing that you just watched. I am gonna sew it up, which is gonna be highly uneventful, and then I will have two matching scrunchies. They're so cute. Love a scrunchie. Got some more to make as well, woo. Started sewing, didn't put the hair bubble in, so now I have to seam rip. But this is the, it's like two stitches and it's the only time I'm gonna seam rip today. So I'm not okay with it, but I accept it. Like I accept it, I'm moving on from my stupidity. <laughs> Turquoise ones, done. Now I'm gonna move on to the red t-shirt. So this one, honestly, I think I can get like four scrunchies out of this. I'm gonna cut off the sleeves, so that'll be two scrunchies, and then I'm gonna roll down here and down here, and I'm gonna get another two scrunchies, I reckon, which is gonna be four scrunchies out of the top half, not even half, that's like the top quarter of a t-shirt which is very exciting. Strike that, we've actually got enough to make six. Let's get started, shall we? Didn't forget to put my bobble in. Delighted. This one's gonna be slightly easier because I decided to actually cut a rectangle and not be lazy. Let's sew stuff. Okay, so I just turned it inside out and oh, it's really pathetic looking. Like I want it to be bigger. Giggity. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sew two together lengthways and then we're gonna get some like proper big sassy hair scrunchies because honestly this is not, I'm not, I'm not living for this. Seam rip, start again. I sewed two together. That is a much better length. However, it's not long enough. I'm gonna seam rip this again. I am going to attach another one. I only think it needs maybe half. Oh, it's so frustrating when things just don't work. Can you not? The issues of living in Hamburg on a busy road. I seam ripped the hair scrunchie I'd already made. I then attached one of the scraps to it, widthways. I then attached the other three scrunchies together with ways. What I'm now going to do is chop down here and down here to make four scrunchies, which is funnily enough, the original number I thought I was going to be making. At no point has my maths been right in this project. Hopefully one and a half width 
will be correct. If you haven't noticed, the background has changed, and also I have changed, because it's not the day that it was, it's actually about a week and a half later. Which means that I'm not at home, which means that I don't have my rotary cutter, just scissors, on carpet. Might not be a straight line. New widths have been cut, I'm gonna tidy them up, I'm gonna snip down the seams. I'm not gonna overlock them because they're on the inside and no one's gonna see them. And then I'm gonna make them into scrunchies. And it will work, I hope. <laughs> These look super janky. <laughs> I hope they don't look super janky when they're done. <laughs> we have four unfinished hair bubbles. They're fine, they're fine, it's fine. I'm just gonna sew them together and then we're gonna have two turquoise hair bubbles and four red hair bubbles. I mentioned not worrying about if the edges don't line up at the end. If they don't, you just chop them off, just like this. Considering how simple and quick this project was meant to be, it has been neither of those things. So whilst not a raging success, it was somewhat of a success. I still got some pretty sassy looking scrunchies. Overall, I'm pleased. The scrunchies and anything else that I have made will, as always, be available on my Depop, which is linked down below. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you next time.